Oh yeah. I'm back. I come from downtown. I come from Mitch and Murray. And I'm on a mission of mercy. It's <laughs> my bad movie line. Uh, okay, so I'm trying to do uh, open SUSE 11.3 here. And I uh, have a bit of an issue. I don't know if it's, yeah, yeah, I can't see behind the camera, so I can't tell if I'm actually getting my face. Maybe I'll just get my right eye. Um, this probably has me, I guess. I looked at cross-eyed, maybe it'll work. <laughs> okay, is this working? Is this working? Um, okay, so... My Sousa Saga. Um, yeah, yeah I, could talk, I could talk my mouth off forever. Um, I guess I should start out by saying that... Um, uh, what's going to be different about my videos versus other people's videos is that one, I won't use the camera right, and, but two, um, you'll probably see uh, some things that aren't scripted or you know, pretty much me doing it as I do it just to see what the reality is. I'm not trying to. Um, I'm not trying to impress anybody. I've gone far beyond that. I can't impress anybody anymore, so there's nowhere but down to go, so I might as well just go for broke, right? Um, but uh, the, I think what will be valuable about my videos are, are for people to see what someone that has, yeah, if, if, I get, if I get the numbers right, I think I have about eight years experience with Linux, maybe six, something like that. So it's, it's over five under ten. And, um, you just, uh, so it's enough to probably eventually work my way out of a lot of predicaments. If I decided, you know, I want to stick with it, but not all of them. A lot of time, you know, I got to look things up on the web, but I can get by for the most part. And at the end of the day, I could probably end up with what I want, but not all the time. Most of the time, not all the time, unless, unless it's impossible. I won't go that far, because of course, if, if it was possible and I didn't know how to do it, I think it's impossible, and it really isn't impossible, but I think there's a good chance that if I can't do it, it's impossible. Okay, I'm not bragging, I'm just, you know, saying what my perceptions are. Okay, so, um, the first distro that I used and I liked and I stuck with was SUSE Linux, and it started, I think, at around SUSE 7. And continued up through about SUSE 10, and then I just got into some other things. I, I was working on a genealogy project that I actually never finished, and um, then I kind of got back into the swing. Just wanted to brush up on my basic, you know, Unix skills just to keep appraised of what was going on. I had a couple year gap there, so I had a little bit of a shock as to how things had changed. One of the things that changed is that SUSE became Open SUSE. And another thing that changed, and yeah, I gotta look and see if the camera's actually recording because if it runs out of space, I'll be talking to no one. Okay, still going. Um, so I, I really liked it. I thought it was just about perfect and almost ready. I mean, it, you could say it has a little bit of a candyish, cartoonish look to it, but you know that 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 could be dealt with. You know, just change the wallpaper. I, I don't know. To some people, I'm I'm fine with it. That the look isn't that big of a deal, but I don't think it's awful. It could look good to some people, and it could look kind of cartoonish to other people. But that's 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 nothing. I'm just scratching the surface. So some of the changes after they went open is that um, it, it was it, you could just I couldn't go down to fry. I can't go down to fries anymore. At least around here, and this is you know supposedly Silicon Valley, but uh, <laughs> I can't just go down to Fry's and get a box at Asusa, or, um, by the way, I'm using my droid, and I'll get to why I'm using my droid instead of my camera here in a second, um, or, you know, 
Micro Center or CompUSA to, to buy a box at a SUSE to set it up. And all things being equal, since the um, the release rate of distribution is about six months, I am coming to the conclusion it's probably better for both the distro companies and the people to buy box sets. Um, but I'm also thinking that they're probably going to have to charge more than they used to. Um, because just just going back to, to you know as a review when, when Red Hat was selling box sets for the desktop and the reason why I'm talking about Red Hat because that's the only public financial statement I've been able to see you know I could read them I, I know what they mean um, they weren't making money off of those box sets that they were selling so they stopped and it became pretty much an internet based distribution now you can download the, the DVD for for SUSE it's about four gigs and um, a 600 gig CD would take about half an hour, right? And again, this doesn't just apply to SUSE or to, in particular, it, you know, it applies to pretty much all the major Linux distributions. The major way anybody's ever going to get these things is by downloading a, anywhere from a 600 megabyte to a 4 gigabyte CD or DVD image, and then, and then they burn it in their computer, then they could boot with the, the DVD and install the system for the most part. And for the most part, for most of these distributions, you, you need to get the CD for every time you upgrade. That's every, it could be every six months if you, if you want to keep pace with the latest thing. Now, I've so far been very impressed with Ubuntu's pretty much one-click upgrade. <laughs> you, you have to find the button to click, you know, there's more steps than just, it isn't just a box on the desktop saying, you know, one-click upgrade, but in general, there, there's, it's a one-click up, upgrade. And um, so far, it's worked very well. I mean, the only reason why I had a problem one time is probably because I uh, installed KDE 3 in there. It's not really KDE 3's fault. Ubuntu can only do so much to get you know their distribution correct given the parameters that they're working with, and they've, they've decided to go with GNOME, so they make sure GNOME works right. Right, so if I have some KDE packages in there, it could interfere with the update. So I had a, but I was able to get around it with Aptitude and Synaptic. Probably just Aptitude, actually. I don't think I even had to use... Aptitude is a very good tool if you're using apt-get. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. It's not even on the really topic, but anyway. I'm diverging. <laughs> okay, so let's let's get over here to, to OpenSUSE. Um, up until about version 10, I... My experience pretty much was if I stuck a SUSE disk into any computer that I encountered to try to install it on, I'll say that much, with a reasonable amount of memory and processing power to it, it would install with that issue, and for every computer except for one model that was made by Dell that I still have an old... Um, <laughs> Old box sitting down here on the on the floor. Getting that. Um, that um, a couple of versions you had to like you had to download the driver and install the the Dell website had a very good support form, so I was able to follow those instructions. It, it was annoying, but I got it up and running. So um, you know, I got past that. And. Yeah, there's a whole other topic. Uh, you know, I went on a rant yesterday about certain things, and I donned my mafioso glasses and said, "Put the video drivers inside your your distributions." And I'm honestly starting to get to the point where, uh, where I'm telling myself there's really no reason why uh, any of these distributions wouldn't put any good reason uh, put the video drivers in the DVD they give you to install your your system with. It's that simple. Or let you have a, you know, I mean, because it's pretty silly the way things end up going right now. Where am I? Okay, I'm going to stop and get to the next part.